What's cracking, fam? It's your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk with another short video just for you. This video is going to be about negativity. Yes, negativity. Have one homie. He's down and out and depressed. Was looking suicidal, but Unk No Punk talked to him and pepped his ass up, right? He said to me, damn, Unk, why well, I'm getting no luck? Why my life is so bad? No, it's just nothing ever happens my way. Nothing ever goes my way. It's always, uh, my life is a big obstacle. I said, okay, bro, let's analyze the problem here. I said, first off, when was the last time when you woke up? Did you thank the creator and your ancestors? He looked at him like, what you talking about? I said, exactly what I said, fool. We wake up in one time, you supposed to thank the creator and your ancestors, you got to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? I told you before, if you give thanks and praise to the creator and your ancestors, your day will be blessed. I told him that. I told him that, right? Be blessed, right? Could be for us be like that too. Not thinking about nothing, not giving no praise and thanks to the creator and ancestors. My life was in turmoils, fam. In goddamn turmoils. Once I sat down, I said, hold on, I analyzed this shit here. So like giving thanks and praise to the created ancestors and getting away from negativity, my life changed. Word up, fam. Life changed. You know what I'm saying? You got to get away from negativity. I didn't say negativity like positive negative. No, I said negativity. Negativity, if it was you not doing a goddamn thing, you want and want a better life, but you're not doing nothing to strive for a better life. You know what I'm saying, fam? You dropped out of school. You ain't doing it. You ain't better going back to school. You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to live away a life that's really not your life. You know what I'm trying to say? You want to come up. You want to live good. You want to keep up with the Joneses. You know what I'm saying? You want your new car. You want all this bullshit, right? But who says you deserve it? What did you do to earn that shit there, right? For you to start... Progressing in life, you got to get away from that negativity shit, dude. I mean, just hanging out on the streets on the block. Like, you have nothing to do. Just hanging the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Hanging out in front of stores. Hanging out in front of the gas stations. When people come out asking for a dollar, two dollars, trying to get your hustle on. That's some bullshit, dude. You know what I'm saying, fam? That's why I said I made a video before about um, if you get rich or you get some kind of money, you, you come up and you move out the hood. Should you go back to the hood? That's what I said. See, it was a question. Should you go back to the hood? I said, you should go back and you want to visit, see some homies, some family, whatever, and you're in and out that motherfucker. Not like no schedule. They know, oh, you come every Friday type shit. Fuck that. That life is behind you. You know what I'm saying? You live that life because mama ain't having good. Father ain't having good, something like that. Most like his mama. You know, I talk about them deadbeat daddies. Most of them grow up around them damn fathers, right? So fuck them, right? But mama might have it good. No matter the situation is, she lived in that ghetto, that project, because she had to. It was her choice to fucking to live inside some poverty ghetto. You know what I'm trying to say, fam? So if you watch that, you watch your mother, father struggle, or grandma, or you live with, came up with, they'll struggle on welfare, and come through projects, things like that, that should make you strive even more to get your ass out of there. To get out of there. You know what I'm saying? You have three generations of people. Grandma, the mama... Then the daughter move in. You know what I'm saying? Most of like that, they're females. In the same apartment, you got generations in the same. I'm like, God damn. When does the come up gonna happen? Your grandma was on welfare in that project, in that apartment. Your mom was on welfare in that project apartment. Now you are there. Where's the hell does it come up? Mm -hmm. You gotta get away from negativity, fam. Got to. You gotta make her come up. At least try, god damn it. Try. Leave that bullshit alone. Especially you men. Stay away from that negativity shit. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. All you fake ass homos you got with. You on the street doing stupid shit. Doing dumb shit that's going to guarantee you prison or a fucking death. Huh? So your little two year run. Motherfucker mother going to get like a two, three year run the most. You know what I'm saying? You don't see mothers out there clocking years and years and not doing no prison time. So you're going to go to prison. You know what I'm saying? Most of you got a, a woman... Couple of rug rats, you know what I'm saying? Now you locked away. Sit in some cell, writing letters back. Oh, mama, no, be faithful to me, all this stupid shit, and all this bullshit. No, come visit me. Bring Junior five hours, six hours away to come make a fucking visit. Fuck no, nigga. That was your decision that you made. 
Why? Because you stayed around negativity. You know what I'm saying? Negativity. You was attracted to negativity. You was attracted to hanging out, you know, going to the club, partying, sleeping late, not working, you know what I'm saying? Just living free for all, but not knowing the consequences of the shit here. It's negativity. Negativity, you know what I'm saying? You keep living negativity and negative and negative and not get away from negativity, but the time you get old head, you're going to be messed up. Messed up. Like I said before, Social Security. If you ain't working, you ain't get no Social Security. So you better be a D-boy. You better stash your money. Make your money quicker. You stash it through inside a wall or somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And boom. You got to do time. You got some money. You come back out. But most fools ain't doing that, dear. First thing going to do is get to my AMG, Mercedes Benz, some shit like that. You know? And park in the front of a project building. <laughs> some stupid shit there. Negativity. Get away from negativity, fam. Mm-hmm. Get away from that shit there. Because sad, you know, you look at the hoods and shit like, it's like we living real bad. But people in the hood, they don't see that because they live this. It's you normal. You fuck it's normal, right? Well, do you get a come up, right? Then you move away. You must not go far. We'd be 25 minutes away. Come up to the suburbs. Do you see how it is out there? You're like, damn, I live my whole life in this goddamn jungle zoo shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can't go to a store. That's why I hate you go in the hood. You go inside, sit, go or some shit, get you some gas or whatever, get you some, some, some swishes. You come out, you got four or five motherfuckers out there asking for change. Like, niggas, the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Grown ass fucking men. They ain't no little kids. They grown goddamn men with their hands out. Nah, get your fucking some goddamn jobs. You know what I'm saying? Get the hell out of here. But like I said, when you hang around negativity, you be negative, you're going to live that life as these fools out there. A, a sad, horrible life where you have no job, you have no income, you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You, you know what I'm saying? Besides, don't have no apartments, but they do, do got apartments, some fucking cheap, nasty bullshit that they really don't want to be in, rats and roaches, but they're used to that, right? Because they've been niggatized. They've been used to living like rats and roaches. They're little babies, so they don't fucking really bother them, Sam fam. But if you get a come up and you move away, do you look back how you, you grew up? Some really sad shit, fam. Roaches crawling and shit and stuff like that. Mom trying to keep the house clean, spraying that raid and shit. But them goddamn roaches still coming from Dallas' apartments through the goddamn pipes, the heater pipes and shit. You know what I'm saying, fam? Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? I've been hungry many nights. Many nights with the bed got hungry, nothing there. Wasn't grandma's fault. The welfare check came later, some shit like that. What was this? What's this? I remember back in, um, I know it's 70 or some shit. It was like 140. 140 every two weeks, it was. 140 every two weeks, I think it was. Some checks for us. I'm saying, who the fuck live up there? Three, four motherfuckers in the house. You understand what I'm trying to say? More of them had it bad, but it wasn't their choice. They had to be like that way. You know what I'm saying? But it's not your choice. It's a different days and times. You know what I'm saying? Make your come up, fam. Get your come up. Don't be sitting around living fucking the same goddamn way as your forefathers and four mamas no live. It's time to get the hell up out that shit. Get away from that negativity shit. I'm telling you, fam. You be more better. You get more healthier, too. Mm-hmm. Get more healthier. This one thing I see this here. If no matter where I travel, right? Where I travel, okay. And you take a so-called African-American brother. I'm using that word just for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like using that word. Right, saying? But African-born in America, and I'll see them somewhere, like in another country, right? In another country, other place I've been to. For example, Europe, right? I see guys who live there, brothers who live there, you know what I'm saying? Got wives, got grandkids and all that shit. They're like, damn, no motherfuckers, motherfuckers from the hoods, you know? Like, that's all we do is walk on the street. I met him, my boy OG Sebastian. Boom, I met him, had a queen shirt on with some Adidas on some leaves. This back in 86, you know what I'm saying? 80 fucking six. Homeboy's still here. Mm-hmm. He ain't going nowhere. I was like, fuck, them and go back to going back to what? He live his life here, stress fucking free. And I tell you like this here, he's about fucking 62 now. 60 some shit like that. The motherfucker look good. He shaved that grip face. He got a fucking clean face. He look fucking stress free, looking good. You know what I'm saying? Looking good. A lot of brothers I see out there. Fucking they from the um, United States. Meet them out there, meet the dudes out there, they live out there. I mean they're not busy, they live out there. These motherfuckers looking stretch free, they'll tell you. Ain't no fucking stress. Ain't no stress. That American shit is killing us, I'll tell you, fam. It's fucking killing us. All the stress they come home to. You know what I'm saying? All the stress. 
people working two or three jobs to make ends meet. You know what I'm saying? Fucked up shit out there. You know what I'm saying? It's real bad out there. But far as these dudes out here just hanging around negativity, you know, all the, the gangs, the dope dealing, all that negative shit, you know what I'm saying? Your life's gonna be bad. But it's not all about you, young bloods. You know, I stress this shit. Why? Because now y'all got kids out there. Little young bloods having 15, 16 years old might got a little seed. You know what I'm saying? 17 years old, they got kids running around this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Little young brothers and sisters out there fucking. They make it, can we fuck you, make kids. You know what I'm saying? Then you become a mother and a father, right? And then you gotta be responsible for your seeds. You know what I'm saying? You want your seeds to live better than you. You, you want your seeds to be better than you. Your kids are, my kids are better than me, right? So if your kids are better than me and every goddamn thing like that, you should try to do better for them. Get them out of there, you know? They give them a better education, you know? They got to worry about being recruited for a gang or dope boy trying to get them from crack or something with his fentanyl. All the fucking money got new shit got these little kids out there got nowadays trying to get your kid on some goddamn drugs. You got to worry about coming home, or trying to rob your wife or trip, rape on a staircase, any kind of dumb shit happen in the goddamn hoods. You know what I'm saying? If you're a man, you know what I'm saying? You want the best for your family. You want the best for them. You want them safe, right? That's a man thing, right? You know, you're a man. You want nothing to happen to you. You, you go all out for yours. So I mess your woman or kids, you'll fucking kill them. Straight up. I know I would. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, you got to protect them. Try to get your bus out that hood. Make it your mission. Get the hell out of there. You know? Make a visit somewhere. You know what I'm saying? People that make visits, like go to the place, they see things, they're like, man, man, fuck this shit, man. Word up. You got to get the fuck out of there. Damn sure. You know what I'm saying? You might go down. I don't, I don't care where the place. You might go down South Carolina somewhere. Charleston, for example, say, say Charleston. You see how it's like slower pace down there, sun, you know what I'm saying? Get some good food at some good restaurants. You might find you a decent gig down there and make some good change. Why the hell not stay down there? You know what I'm saying? Well, we came from down there, shit. We came from down south. Why not get your butts back down south, sir, fam? Get out that negativity shit. Stop being negative, you know what I'm saying? Hating your brothers and shit, scared, mean mugging on dudes and shit. The fuck you stand in front of a goddamn store and mother sit there mean mugging. I'm like, get you a fucking job, you know, get you a life, you know what I'm saying? You're a living negative, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get away from that shit there, right? We have to we hate ourselves and shit always. <clears throat> mean grilling, you know what I'm saying? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> like, you ain't got a goddamn job. You want to go hard and rough and shit. Motherfucker, no goddamn well, he hungry. You know what I'm saying? He been living negative. But like I say, fam, you know, we wake up more time to get thanks and praise, you know, to the creator, you know, any ancestors. And your day will be blessed. And I'm out, fam. Peace.